Greetings. Welcome to ATW. I am your host, Apostle Keith Reese-Joy. This is a segment we do every Sunday and Tuesday after our Bible study. It's an opportunity for you, our viewing audience, to ask questions as we dive in a little deeper into the Word and the message that was taught on that day. Do me a favor. Go over, click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time a new episode is released. Also, like, share, and subscribe if you would. We would appreciate it. Well, I'm excited today on the set as another one of my spiritual sons with us on the ATW set, Mr. Mike, brother Mike. Yes, sir. Awesome. What's going on? Oh, dunamis power. This that's is going it. Ah, uh, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. That dunamis power. <laughs> yes, yes, hey, sir. listen. So, of course, you know how ATW goes. Uh, you rapid fire a couple of questions uh, as well as comments or statements. We'll just kind of, you know, flow with it. Uh, drop whatever the Holy Spirit places in your heart, and we go from there. Yes, so, sir. what what say you? Well, well, it touched my heart because uh, I was also looking into you know, the Holy Spirit. You know, and after we prayed, is uh, what would you say when Revelation of Jesus Christ would do you know, right now by walking into the supernatural? You know? Wow, it's good. It's pretty rich in depth. Yeah. Uh, you know, the thing of it is, is that with the supernatural. Uh, God has placed us in this natural uh, mm -hmm. uh, realm in the flesh, mm -hmm. but God wants us to go into the supernatural, so he places his super on our natural, so therefore we make space and room for God to move. Mm -hmm. So really, uh, the revelation that we should be walking in is that we make space for God to operate. So in our natural env environment, in our natural movement, we make room for God in all things. So it's in, in every area of our lives, whether it's our finances, whether our relationships, whatever mm -hmm. it is, we should always be walking in the supernatural. So many times we think of the supernatural, we think signs and wonders. We think, you know, some supernatural strength. But really, the supernatural is really making space for God to operate in the natural. Yes, sir. You see, yeah. that's when we see the supernatural, is that because now when I make space for God to move, supernatural things happen right yes, yes. and we don't discount even the small things mm -hmm. so if I need peace and I'm in the midst of make room for God right in the midst of chaos if I make room for supernatural happens yes. peace come upon me right yes. I'm in the midst of a storm and I should be pulling my hair well like for you and now we ain't got much <laughs> <laughs> but but if I'm pulling my hair out right. and I make space for God to move in the midst of chaos there's a peace that can come upon me. Why? Yeah. Because I made space for yes, his sir. supernatural to operate in my natural life. Yes, sir. I receive that. Amen. Praise God. Yes, sir. And just one note, you know, the reconciliation, the Holy Ghost just speaking through you. It stir up the grace of the Holy Heart of Salvation inside of me. You know, with Abraham, you know, years later, generations later, the apostolic, apostolic, and the Holy Ghost, the apostolic inheritance, we, yeah. we walk in, we receive. Just as Christ through you, prophesied to me not too long ago and correct me like I gotta earn it. No, it's not my works. Mm -hmm. It's Christ through me. He does his workmanship yes. Yes. of his doings. That's good. And what hit me in my heart was that scripture where it says, you know, for when God promised to Abraham mm. he could swear upon no greater. Yeah. He swear upon ourselves and show the blessing yeah. I'll bless thee. Yeah. Multiplying or multiply thee. But when he patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Yes. For making a swear upon no greater oath of confession to them and end of all strife. Yeah, and will it more abundance to hear his promise to meet his accounts confirmed by two immutable things? Come on, man. In which it was possible for God to lie, that we may have a strong consolation of those who fled refuge, lay upon the hope set before us. Yeah. The hope was of an anchor of a soul. Wow. Made sure and steadfast, to which entered the veil for us. That's that doing Whether the foreign of us, even Jesus, may not hide himself the order of Melchizedek. Yeah, and I remember when I remember the scripture shows me I'm walking wow. into the inheritance. And for me, in my walk, you know, this season and this year is speaking in tongues Come on. more than anything else because wow. that helps me walk in that love. Mm -hmm. And just what Christ you mean, you know, agreement about, about walking in that dormness, yeah. that dynamite, Come on. that boldness, hey. that lovable, walking in the undefeated love the of God undefeated. in the name of Jesus. Will you turn around and it says to your evil spirit through somebody mm -hmm. where you love the person and Christ you hates the evil ah. spirit in them and you love them and they just, they, they get this spirit of God falling upon yeah. them. Yeah. You know, and that's what I've been seeing in this place. Man. That's awesome. I see the love of God. That's awesome. Yeah. So tell yeah. me, uh, if you would. So yes, since, sir. and thank you for that too, because that that is that dunamis. Yeah. Since since your connectivity 
with Elevate. What has that done for you in your, your walk? Oh, i got a covering now in my life. Uh, I have accountability. Uh, crying and weeping in the Word of God. Uh, instead of worshiping for three to four hours, mm. knowing when you hear from God when you don't, and you're waiting. And I remember when I asked him, I said, Lord, when are you going to put me around some people that know you, not just as my Savior, but as my Lord, master wow. of my life? And then when I came into this place, I thought I knew more than what I did. But through the advanced work, through the being committed to God, an easy way to be committed, what help from the body of Christ, mm. you know, is then the accountability that brings reassurance that I'm living in more reconciliation than sanctification. Yeah, come on. When I got to that maturity in Christ, I, there was more scales falling off my wow. eyes. Wow. Now, now I could see a lot better. Wow. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's that dunamis. That dynamite. Tell me where that came from. Because that, so since you came to Elevate, you've been known for that dunamis, that dynamite, Ooh. that power. So how, how did you come to that? revelation because I know we know it's scripture, it's the word of God, but for you, I think it's a little deeper. Uh, yeah. it, it strikes you in a different way. Yeah, yeah. Oof, that's, uh, that's that power. I was in Bible college about 11, about 11 years ago. And I was in jail, and I was about to go kill somebody in church before I met Jesus. Wow. And I received salvation. And after I received salvation, I got hungry. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. know what the will of God was. God was pouring at my heart. So then I started meditating about the gift of tongues, about speaking in tongues. And it was somewhere in the book of Acts. Right now the Holy Ghost ain't telling me it was scripture. Yeah. But he's telling me, but God is telling me that it was in the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. So, and he gave me a scripture, and I, I meditated on it, about when they went into the upper room and he yeah. spoke in tongues. Yeah, Acts chapter 2. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Holy Ghost. And then what happened was... I spoke out in tongues for four hours. I had an evil spirit of fornication that jumped up off wow. me, all kind of other wow. evil spirits. My bed went in the air, mm -hmm. and, and it hit, hit back to the ground. And then I took off running. I was falling all over the place. I was going through a sanctification process. I thought I knew so much and didn't. And I was, but I was doing miracles through me, healing mm -hmm. people, all kind of stuff. Yeah. And then, years later, started to grow in maturity, mm -hmm. and finally. Before them years later, though, I asked him, I said, God, what were these tones coming out of my mouth when I was soaking wet? Well, what were they? And he told me, I back into they shun today and meant father, father, shoo all evil. Mm -hmm. And he showed me where it was in the Bible, it was a scripture. And he showed me in Greek, the suffix pronunciation was the same speakings that were coming out of my mouth. Wow. So years later, he prophesied to me and it reminded me about what I asked him. You know, I didn't write it down, keep it yeah, in a yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. I tried to, but I probably lost the book in the midst. You sure you ain't write it to me? Because I got a lot of letters from you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Every rest of your life, you're going to get a lot of letters from me because yeah. I ain't going to say why because I don't want to yeah. boast of myself. But in, in a, God has me placed in a region and planted. Yeah. So God already took, God, whenever it's time, Christ Jesus is going to tell me, say, yeah, yeah, you at this place from your most important gift. But I don't need to boast to myself on that. Yeah. And it's just been awesome of really showing how important evangelist work is. Yeah. You know, to know the two mutual things where we get by what God has shown me, you show me of Christ you, where what much is given, much is required. Take it to him 2.15. Study to show thyself to prove unto God. I work for me in shame, rightly dividing the word of truth, but God has me with the study. And then what God has me a foundation of, you know, under the leadership of Christ through you, where it says Wash through an all thing and do yeah. affliction, do the work of the band, it's made fruitful of our ministry. Come on. And knowing them two mutual things, which God cannot lie. So you don't know this yet, son. You need to you need to sit in here and study mm. this. Oh, what God has for me to know and to share. Wow. And seeing the miracles and signs and wonders following other people yeah. and drawing them to where God has them to that's be God. in the body of Christ. Yeah. It's been awesome. That's that doing it. Yes, that's that dynamite. That boldness, <laughs> that lovable, where you're walking the undefeated love of God. He never draw back again. Come that's, on. That's what's really the power through you. This, I Praise believe God. and receive that prophecy. Oh, it ain't easy. Yeah, I fall short because I'm not perfect. Come on. Oh, falling short and not backsliding is two major different things. Say it, sir. Two major. Help somebody. Not backsliding and falling short of the glory of God is two 
totally separate things. We fall short because we are not perfect, and Jesus, the Lord God Almighty, is perfect. So we look at that, and then we understand. And when we know not to draw back no more, and we can stand on that, and we weep till our knees, knowing when to walk into the Lamb of God, and when to let the line of Judah flow out of us Come more on. with power. That's the look, love. look into that camera and pray for somebody from that point right now that maybe they're looking to themselves or looking to other things and they're not looking to God. Pray and help somebody do that prayer. Thank you right now, Lord God, in my name of Jesus, Lord God. Being all our sins, past, present, and future, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Thank the touch of some there right now, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, they got thank you, Holy Ghost. They have a lot of people with addictions out there mm. right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And to draw them out them addictions, to let them know that God really loves them. He has not yes. forsaken them. He really loves them. It's about the love of Jesus Christ. Yes. And God has a plan for your life, your life, yes, and all of you, in the name mm. of Jesus. And the more you come into unity and in the body of Christ with other believers, that they know that you love, they know, and you know God in them, that they love the Lord. Yes. God is telling you to get around and move the spirit of pride off of you in the name uh. of Jesus. And let go and let God more abundantly by 2 Corinthians 8 and 9. For you know the grace mm. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor. And through his poverty, ye might be rich, which in peace, love, happiness, and joy. Even rich in money. For the love of money yeah. is the root of all evil, but not money in the mighty name of Jesus. And them riches, God's poured it on you. He's asking all of you to submit, to let it be engrafted in you to you know you already been forgiven yes. in the name of Jesus and also to where you get in the reformation to grow into repentance inside of Jesus, Father. Lord God Almighty, more abundantly, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 Wow. Wow. The holy heart unto salvation. Hallelujah. We thank God for you on today. Tune in hallelujah. to ATW. This wraps up another episode. It is my desire and my hope that Hallelujah. something was said on today you, that bless you. And for those of you who don't know Christ Jesus, beyond just your Savior, but as also the Lord of your life, <laughs> send us a, a, a message at info at elevatechurchbr.com. Or if you have any questions or comments, you can send them to that same email address. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be mm -hmm. notified every time we go live right here from ATW. Hey, again, we thank God for you tuning in. We'll see you next time on the other side. It's been ATW. I'm your host, Apostle Keith. Thank you. Yes, sir, Apostle. Love you too. Yes, sir. All right. All right, who's next? <laughs>